Hello everyone, it is December 29th, 2020. It's Tuesday. It's Harp Tuesday! Welcome to this episode, and really this is just kind of a mini episode. It's a follow-up to episode 198, where I talked, I was talking about using the iPad to read music from, and the Foursquare app, and that it has the option of turning the pages with your face. And with your face? Like, grab it with your teeth? Like, what, what's going on? What, what does that mean? And so I'm just going to do this this little follow up here today to just show you what it's like, give you a little bit of a review of that and why it's something that I'm not using. So the the Foursquare app, you, you buy the app and, and that's it, it's a one time cost. But if you wish, if you want to help support their continued development, you can get a, a pro license. And really, there's nothing you get a few little cosmetic things, you get sort of uh, a direct support line to them. Um, a few other things, but nothing that I found any need for. Uh, but you also do get access to these face gestures. And in this case, I think they're more of a novelty than a, than a essential feature. So uh, I think having them is a little extra for those people who are supporting them. Because again, I think this pro subscription is not that idea of a yearly subscription that you have to pay, but a yearly subscription that you can pay if you want to support continued development. And I certainly, I don't like the subscription model where you're forced to pay every year. I'd rather buy an outright license, but I certainly also like that idea of, of supporting on, on a more voluntary basis. So anyway, uh, so for the last five years, I haven't had any, I haven't had the pro license, but this this summer I decided to get it partly to support them, but also to to provide some content for you and to try out these face gestures because I was curious. And so these face gestures are built on the idea of some of the recent iPads have had LiDAR cameras, right? This sort of laser based camera that is able to measure depth and 3D map very pretty accurately. Um, so it's 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 a feature that hasn't had a lot of uh, it's like it's, it's useful for augmented reality, but it's, it's not gonna it's, it's it's again it's more kind of a proof of concept novelty kind of thing, but it does mean that there's the possibility of like a three D mapping your face, and then when you do certain movements or gestures, it could send a command in this case to turn the page. So kind of intriguing. So let me start by kind of showing you what that's like. So if, if I go here and I go to this briefcase icon, I believe it's what's supposed to be this for this to the right. Then I go down to settings and then Foursquare Pro, if I tap Pro, over here, these are face gestures. And right here, yeah, we, we can, I can, I can uh, enable it by clicking that little face gesture button. So there are two options, a head turn and a mouth movement. So I'm gonna start with a head turn and you can see there's a sensitivity, backward navigation. So we could turn off backward navigation so it'll only go forward. So we won't have to worry about <clears throat> trying to turn the page or inadvertently going backwards. It'll always go forwards. Always advance, never retreat. Um, but sometimes maybe what if we overshoot and turn two pages? It's nice to have the option to go back. So anyway, that's, but it's nice to have that option to turn off the backward navigation. Um, and you can see here, as I try to turn my head, well, I triggered a left. I triggered a right, a left, a right, a left, right, left, right. So let's see it in action. I'm going to go and touch here. And of course, in iOS 14, now there's a little green button telling me that the, some app is using my camera, which is a nice privacy feature. So I'm going to try to go there. I was able to turn to the right. And again, let's try to go back. Yep. Again. Again. Back. Back. So I think I have to kind of come to rest. I can't, you know, if, I, if I'm moving back and forth like this, it's not gonna go back and forth and back and forth. So it's maybe reading me, I'm at rest. And then it's kind of like a swipe. Again, if I'm trying to swipe left or right. So you can see here it's behaving pretty well. Oops. But I, I haven't tested it, so I think it's a little, again, it's kind of more proof of concept, right? It works reasonably well, but, um, well, I'll get to that in a moment, but I'll get to the button in a moment. Let's try, let's try the other option, right? So again, we go down to settings, we go to Foursquare Pro, 
we go to face gestures, we go to mouth movement. Now this has a calibration. So the face, the head turn, you don't have to calibrate this. I had to calibrate moving my mouth. So this uh, corner of the mouth um, and a sensitivity. So I've turned my sensitivity quite up because I quite up high because I was having a hard time having it triggered. So oops. Hmm. Somehow it thinks it's way over there. So I definitely felt that this was a little bit, let's just see if it's working, right? This was a little bit less reliable. Hmm. This should be going left, yeah. Left again. Oh, it's going back. Um, oh, maybe I'm touching my Bluetooth pedal. Sorry, let's try that again. Yeah, sorry, I think I was touching my Bluetooth pedal, that's why. Hmm. We're going forward. We Did I click the invert? So again, the, uh, I, I could, um, you can see that one's not behaving itself very well at the moment. Um, no, I didn't click the invert. Um, and again, you get this little icon down here. It's kind of telling us, were we able to trigger that? We tr triggered left. Can we trigger right? I'm having a hard time triggering it right at the moment. I'm not sure why it looks like it's focused over on the right. Yeah. Um, but we could play around with the sensitivity, right? We can play around with the sensitivity. We can also calibrate it again. Um, so I could relax my face and press the calibrate button. It takes me through the steps, kind of like scanning your, um, scanning your, uh, yeah, skip, 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 uh, scanning your fingerprint. So, uh, so I would say like you might be able to calibrate it better and you might have better results than we're currently having right at the moment. I'm going to turn back. Well, I'll, I'll leave that on. So, um, actually I'm going to do this. I'm going to turn those off. So you can see that it works with maybe a little bit of quirks, but what I found just using it for a tiny period was I immediately knew that I didn't want to have this be an option because I was thinking maybe if even if not in performing, maybe for practicing, right? That that would be a nice option just to be able to easily turn the page without messing around with a foot pedal or touching the page to turn it. But I didn't want to start to train my head or my mouth that I couldn't, you know, that I had to do these gestures or that I couldn't, that I couldn't sort of move my head naturally if I wanted to. And it's not that I'm constantly flinging my head about, right? Oh, I need the long hair and ah, oh, yes. But to, uh, I didn't like that feeling of, of, of suddenly feeling that I had to be very careful about the movement of my head. And it just, it wasn't, yeah, it wasn't something I wanted to start to train my body to do because it's amazing how just even you, you could say, well, you're not gonna do it in maybe performance. You can just use it as a practice tool, but the body remembers that, that, oh no, I, 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 can't, I can't move the head too much or whatever. And to me, it just was definitely something I didn't want in terms of, in terms of feeling freedom, right, in the head. And it's really important to be able to relax the jaw, right, and, and to, and the neck and, and the head. And so, as I say, for me, it became very clear very early that I wasn't gonna use this no matter how well it works. So again, as you saw there today, at least the mouth gestures were a little iffy. The head was a little more consistent, but neither one, it's not the consistency that I'm worried about, it's the training of the head and, and the, the feeling of that. Now, Foursquare does offer one other option and that is motion sensitive page turns via AirPod Pros. Uh, I think maybe only the Pros, which are wireless headphones so you can have them in both ears or just one ear and it can detect that and this is available to it's, you don't need the pro subscription um, and it's something I don't have a set of AirPod Pros um, but if you do and you have Foursquare you could test this out so same idea that it can motion detect and try to change the pages that way and if you have it so if you have a set of AirPod Pros and if you have an iPad and if you have Foursquare and, and it's unclear, but uh, so you can you can go here. You can go to settings, um, and 
I think it's devices? No. Uh, it's... What is it? It's... Sorry. You can check to see whether your... Um, whether your iPad will be able to do that. And I'm sorry, I, I, I checked this earlier, but I can't remember where, where it is. Um, but pretty much most modern iPads should have that motion capability, uh, I think. So, so that's something you can try out. But again, I, I, it runs into the same problems of, of training and utilizing a motion that I don't want to utilize, right? Uh, it's one thing to be using the foot, but not so much the, the head. So again, it's a cool concept and who knows what the future might bring. Maybe, you know, again, augmented reality, maybe we see the page projected out in front of us if we want, or, or our brains are able to like turn the page or we're viewing this on glasses or who, who knows, all, who knows, right? Who knows? But for now, as cool as it might be, I don't think those are, are reasonable options for me at least. Um, I do want to mention one last thing sort of about page turns, just kind of the, the settings here. So again, if you go up to the briefcase, you go to settings. And, and for me, I, I prefer just a tap, a single tap to turn the page rather than a swipe. And I also don't like the page turn animation. So I'm just gonna show you how to do that. Settings and uh, gestures, gestures. There we are, gestures. So I've turned off swipe control and I've got tap control, right? And so that way, so if we turn on swipe and turn off tap, now this doesn't change the page, but if I, if I swipe, it does. But the thing is a swipe is a little bit longer motion, it takes a little bit more time. And so where's the tap? You can just tap right like that. And again, if you're not using a foot pedal or something, this is the, I think the best, the best option. And so let's, I'm gonna turn on swipe, turn on tap. Uh, I should also mention, uh, just as I was checking this over this to make sure I knew what was happening, so I could tell you, uh, uh, there's all these like two finger single tap, or three finger single tap, or these various tap and holes, which I hadn't utilized. So now I've got two finger tap to a half turn and three finger single tap to a metronome. I'll, I'll demonstrate that. So if I two finger tap, it half turns. It doesn't change it to the half turn. It's not, we're not always going to have half turns, which is what we do if this changed. So in some ways I kind of wish it did, but in other ways, like oftentimes maybe, especially following along with a student, most of the time I might just be turning every page, but to have that easy option of the half page turn so I could see both the end of something and the beginning of something else is actually pretty cool. So again, something I hadn't been aware of. And then now, uh, if I triple tap this, there we go, three finger tap, it turns on the metronome. Now it doesn't, okay, well, there we go. <clears throat> so the two finger tap I think was, maybe having a hard time tapping all three fingers at once, but it, it will remember whatever your last setting was so it doesn't bring up the dialog box. But at the very least, even if you like put up a new setting, uh, I was like just one for, I just want a single tap. It's nice, it's, it's great to maybe have an easy way to turn that off, right? To turn the volume off. So that's cool. Learn something new every day. Um, and was there one other thing I wanted to mention? Oh, oh yeah, the, the transitions, right? Just that for me, I like the the fastest possible, which is no, no animation, um, which you can find here on page transitions. So, right, you could have a curl, for example, where we just kind of see that it's being turned in. It's not that it takes a lot of extra time, but I just, uh, and, and in some ways it's nice to have that sort of feedback of, oh, I did turn the page. Um, but for me, at least, I, I just prefer just, just no page transitions and just to just to go straight to the next page. So as I say, just a short little look at those, at the turning the page with your face, um, which is which is cool. And, and again, I say, if you if you have Foursquare or some other uh, some other programs as well, I know there are other options. Uh, I love Foursquare, but there are some other options and I think they have some face gestures and similar things as well. Um, and, and these motion detect 
options is for, for wearables like like ear pods um, some cool options but yeah I just I just feel that with a face and the head I want to leave that free to maybe express emotion if appropriate and, and but also just to be able to stay relaxed and not to uh, not to have to use it to turn the pages so as I say a, a cool thing but ultimately uh, for me at least a bit of a novelty and not something to actually use full-time so hope you've enjoyed that thanks so much for watching all my videos here in 2020 and um yeah here we are almost in 2021 i wish you a very um happy new year and a great 2021 see you in a couple weeks for the first tarp tuesday of 2021 cheers <laughs>